وَلَّذِينَ يُنفِقُونَ مَوَالَهُمْ رَيَا النَّاسِ Now there are, there is another category of wealthy people who spend their money. وَلَّذِينَ يُنفِقُونَ مَوَالَهُمْ مَوَالَهُمْ They spend their money رَيَا النَّاسِ To show off to the people. Well, he is a very, he does the acts of charity. He, he is a very good person. وَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَلَا بِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ And he doesn't really believe in Allah. And he doesn't believe really in the day of judgment, in the last day. Because if one believes in Allah, he will spend for the pleasure of Allah. If he believes in the day of judgment, he will spend and give arms and charity to get the reward of the day of judgment. But if he doesn't have the real faith, neither in Allah, nor in the day of judgment, and now he is giving something in charity, he is only doing it to show off to the people. That he is a very philanthropist. And he is do doing this public service. Maybe he has to contest some election, you know, in the near future. And for that purpose, he is distributing arms and charity and all these things. And for, for whomsoever shaitan becomes the comrade and colleague, he becomes the friend, Kareen. So it's, he is a very bad, bad comrade and bad colleague. They so what does it mean? They are the companions of Shaitan, of Iblis. What harm could have come to them? What harm can come to them? Now Amanu Billahi wal Yawmilahi. If they have real faith in Allah, real faith in the last day. And on the basis of that real faith and conviction. Iman in Allah and Iman in the day of judgment and the hereafter and they are spending for that purpose Mimma Allah from whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon them Wakan Allah bihim alima and Allah knows them very well knows who is spending for the pleasure of Allah and knows who is spending for show off for only showing it to the people or to have some worldly rewards to have to save some taxes from the government a foundation has been established. What for? To save the taxes, you know, and to have some access to the centers of power. You can have a lobbying, and you can go to the congressmen and the senators, and you can have go your own way, and you can take, get the decisions which are beneficial to you, and you are spending for charity. But actually your purpose is that. وَمَاذَا عَلَيْهِمْ لَوْ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَأَنْفَقُوا مِمَّا رَوْقَهُمُ اللَّهِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِهِمْ عَلِيمًا إِنَّ اللَّهُ لَا يَزْلِمُ مِسْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to do any wrong to any person even equal to the weight of a particle. People have translated it as an atom but now this is the recent term at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, when this Quran was being revealed, there was no concept of atom. Zarra, particle. Miskala zarra. Inna Allah la yazlamu miskala zarratin. Ba in taku hasanatan, Allah is not going to, to destroy any deed of any person. Even if it be the weight of a particle. Ba in taku hasanatan, if it is a good deed, yuzaifha, he will double it, multiply it. And in addition to giving the reward, so many folds, he will give the, give the reward from his own. More he will add. This is one of the most profound ayat of the Quran. And here you must relate it with the ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah. This shahadat al nas وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَىٰ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَيَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِيدًا And in that way we have made you the middle ummah or the best ummah so that you become witnesses over the whole of humanity and our Rasul, our messenger becomes a witness over you, against you. He will testify on the day of judgment, O oh Allah, your words which came to me, I conveyed them to these people. They can't plead ignorance. I can hear your message. This is the testimony that every Rasul will do. He will testify. Every messenger of Allah 
when you know that ummah of that rasul will be brought to the book for accountability first of all as a court witness as a prosecution witness the messenger who was sent to that ummah he will stand up and testify oh allah i had preached and i had conveyed your message to these people they can't plead ignorance now they are accountable for whatever they did so this is the place and this is the position of the of the messengers of allah now what will happen on that day this is a very important fakafaiza jaina min kulli ummatin bi shahidin what will be the condition what will happen when we shall raise from every ummah a witness from every ummah moses will stand up a witness against bani israel i gave you the book that allah gave to me i practiced it myself showed you the example laqad qala lakum fi rasulillah uswatun hasana now you are responsible for for what you did and jesus will stand up and he will say i convey the message of allah in the same way what will happen o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we shall bring you forth to testify against these people فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جَيْنَا مِنْ كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ وَجَيْنَا بِكَ عَلَى هَاؤُلَاءِ شَهِيدًا This Haula is pointing towards whom? The people, the, the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Bani Ismail, the people of Arabia, to whom he preached and conveyed the message personally. He himself conveyed the message. جَيْنَا بِكَ عَلَى هَاؤُلَاءِ شَهِيدًا And who were those Haula? They were the relatives. They are the kinsmen. they were from his own tribe they were his own people that is why the prophet once wept over this aya the very important tradition once the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked hazrat abdullah ibn mas'ud radhiyallahu ta'ala an recite to me some quran some part of quran i want to listen it from you he said should i recite quran unto you it was revealed to you and the prophet said yes it gives me an extra pleasure to listen it from somebody else now complying with the with the directive of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam abdullah ibn mas'ud says i started reciting surah an-nisa from the very beginning now just imagine sahaba are sitting the, the rasul is there sallallahu alaihi wasallam and you know bowing his head down abdullah ibn mas'ud is reciting the ayat from the beginning of surah an-nisa from where we started today when he reached this ayat fa kayfa idha jaina min kulli ummatin bi shahidin wa jaina bi ka ala haula shahida the prophet said hasbuk hasbuk stop here stop here let it be the end and now when abdullah ibn mas'ud raised his head and saw tears were flowing down the eyes of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam I will have to testify against my own kith and kin. They will be thrown in the fire of hell before my eyes. My own uncles. Was not Abu Lahab the uncle of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? The people of my own tribe. I will have to testify against them. For kya faida jena min kulle ummatim be shahidin, but jena bika ala ha ulai shahida.